Okay, today we are going to read a story about the Holy Family because our church is named after the Holy Family. So this is about the life that Jesus, Mary, and Joseph had at home in Nazareth. On a lovely green hill where the flowers grow, there is a town of white houses. It is called Nazareth. It was the home of the Holy Family, but they had been away for a long time. Now they were coming home again. They walked down the long road and climbed the hill. They went up the street to the house where Mary and Joseph used to live. What do you suppose they found? Another family was living in St. Joseph's house. The Holy Family had to go down the street and look for another house to live in. Was St. Joseph angry? Certainly not. Jesus and Mary were tired from the long trip. Did they grumble when they had to go and find another house? No, of course not. God wanted them to live in another house, and they wanted to do only what God wanted. Mary and Joseph made their new home clean and pretty. The Holy Family's little house at Nazareth was a happy home. Nobody was ever grumpy or mad. Nobody was selfish. Everybody helped. They had such nice times together. That sounds like a lovely family, doesn't it? Jesus always did what Mary and Joseph told him. He was obedient because he wanted to please God, his father. God says to all of us, honor your father and your mother. That means obey them and be good to them. Jesus went to school in Nazareth. There he learned to read and to write. Now remember, Jesus is God's son. He knows everything, just like God his father. Why did he go to school and learn with the other children in Nazareth? I think he wanted to show us he was a real boy. He did all the same kind of things you guys do. The Holy Family had plain meals like all their neighbors. They were poor. Why did Jesus want to be poor? He was God's son. He could have had the whole world if he wanted. But Jesus was born in a poor family to teach us that such things as money and nice clothes and houses and lots of different kinds of food and candy are not one bit important. They cannot make us happy. Jesus wanted to be poor so that nobody can say he had it easy. Jesus loved his mother and St. Joseph, and he helped at home. He was never lazy. He wanted to show us how to do things the right way. He showed us what right away obedience is. I bet that's something you guys can work on. Jesus played with other children of Nazareth. They all liked to play with Jesus. They always had fun because Jesus played fair. He waited his turn. What game do you think he is playing here? Looks like maybe it's kind of like a bowling game, huh? No matter what Jesus is doing, he is doing it well, so as to please God, his Father in heaven. Jesus grew a little taller every day, just like other children, just as you do. Jesus was God's son, but he ate and slept and grew, just like you do. He was a real child. He did all the good things that other children did. He often helped his mother carry water from the well. He ran errands and helped St. Joseph, too. Now fold your eyes and close your No, I'm sorry. Fold your hands and close your eyes and think about Jesus. He is listening. Whisper to him, Jesus, I love you. Thank you for showing me how to act at home, at play, and at school. Please help me, Jesus, to be like you. <laughs> 